and you're able to film and document <clears throat> and write down everything that's said and everything that's going on. Now, here are the things that we're going to be discussing. Mm. We have a motion for contempt. Samantha is in contempt of court. We're going to be discussing that. We also have a special master's motion for attorney's fees. Mm. Okay? We have a special master's motion for contempt. We also have a, a motion for attorney's fees. Okay? Trying to get to the bottom of attorney's fees. Now, I want to explain one little piece about the attorney's fees. Normally, when you're a higher income earner, in the family law, they will say, look, you make more money than your, than your significant other, so financially, she should be allowed to have proper representation and have her legal fees to be paid for too. Here's the problem. I signed a prenuptial agreement, and the prenuptial agreement clearly pause this is tyrese discussing his issues with his ex-wife it's a previous um video audio whatever you want to call it and it's dated but it's still relevant with what's going on today and how did tyrese get to the point of being held in contempt and also owing the back child support and all of that so this is kind of leading up to that but this is tyrese explaining the unfairness in the family court system, which, and to be honest, Tyrese is actually correct. I don't like the antics that Tyrese kind of, I guess, facilitates, <laughs> but I hear him, I understand him, and using my own self as an example, the family court is unfair. However, they have made drastic improvements. Lastly, before I continue with the audio, usually when the father or the ex is involved and heavily involved and going to court, being present and showing effort, sometimes the judges are become more lenient and that's good. That's a good thing. But overall, the system is there is some discriminatory practices in the system when it comes to men and women. So I'm just and this is based off of my own experience. But in Tyrese's case, he is involved. He wants to be present. He is fighting. He is putting forth effort. So I get this. And, and I am a female. I get this. I can see the guys that who are uninterested, uncooperative, and just sticking a middle finger up to the kid, the justice system, all of that. Then outcome granted is warranted, especially if it's unfavorable in their interests. But let me go ahead and continue. In all four corners of the document, a total of about 60, we put our signatures on it. We agreed that if we want to argue and go back and forth about the validity of our prenuptial agreement, mm. then we are 100% responsible for paying and covering our own legal fees. Mm. That's what the prenuptial agreement states. So therefore, there should pause Tyrese has a great point he has a prenup the judge actually should have taken all of this in consideration and I'm going to go ahead and like do a, a small breakdown of the judge judge Kevin Framer that's the judge over presiding over Tyrese's case and to my understanding I think Tyrese is actually appealing everything which is rightfully so and again I am a product of a divorce. I am a product of child support and all that. So I do have like the experience or whatever. And although my situation was beneficial for me and my kids and all of that, Tyrese has a point. I'm one that will get credit where it's due. And he definitely has a point with how the court system, the judge is navigating this entire situation. If there is a legal agreement, um, I think prenups are signed off by a judge or whatever. I think I'm not 100% sure. If you know anything different, drop a comment, drop a comment. I can't remember everything off the top of my head, although, and no one can. So to my understanding, no one can. But yeah, let me go ahead and continue. Not be no discussion about who's paying for legal fees. Mm. You follow me? Because the prenup says that if you want to argue about who gets what and what's what, mm -hmm. then you're responsible for your own legal representation mm. and you need to pay. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now, again, I am asking every black father in the city of atlanta charlotte wherever you are 
I also would love to personally invite my brothers, mm. the fruits of Islam, the nation of Islam, all of the black men who have dealt with the family law and the court systems forever. Mm. I told them very simply, I don't want nothing to be done in my favor because I'm an alpha, because I'm a father, mm. because I'm a celebrity, because I'm a public figure. I don't want nothing to work in my favor for any of those factors. I just want things to be done according to the law. Mm. I'm also gonna call on my brother, attorney Benjamin Crump, mm. to join me. I have my lawyer named Tanya Mitchell Graham, who is incredible. So okay, let me pause right there. I'm not going to play too much more, but basically this is before the judge um, found Therese Gibson in contempt and before the judge laid down his final order. Judge Kevin Framer. Therese was pretty much soliciting support from the community, from those who are in positions of authority or power, or whatever, or influence, positions of influence, and, you know, and just soliciting every day, every day, the everyday person, guy, to show up at the courthouse. Solidarity with what he's going through. So, but again, like I stated before, although Tyrese has his antics or whatever, in my opinion, he's definitely correct. And this judge has exceeded, in my opinion, his authority, his power. He's he's abused it, in my opinion. So that in judges do they do have an immense amount of discretion and authority, and they should use that, in my opinion, sparingly and responsibly. But oftentimes they don't, especially if they become irritated with whomever is um, a party to the case. Once a judge is irritated, it's like it's downhill from there and they have vengeance. And in my opinion, it shouldn't be like that, but unfortunately it is. However, I do believe there are some legal actions that can be taken, which I think Tyrese is probably in the process of doing. So let me go ahead and continue. Black woman who was literally disrespected by this judge his full name sitting on the bench. His name is Judge Kevin M. Farmer. M as in Mary. Judge Kevin M. Farmer. We Paul, I did a little bit digging, a little bit of research on Judge Kevin Farmer, and I, I didn't really uncover a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and share that with you all shortly. So let me continue. Attempted to get this man thrown off the bench this case was presented to other judges. They read the transcripts. They seen how he handled himself, all of the racists, the fact that we wasn't able to properly present our case. And then he ends up calling my ex-wife a bitch. Mm. Yes, he did. He called Samantha a bitch. And to be honest, if this is true, and that's a, a, a huge if in bold <laughs> letters, if this is true, I wouldn't be surprised. You have no idea the conversations that go on in court um, rooms or behind the scenes. Just go sit there. Courthouse is open to the public. We are taxpayers. It's there for a reason. And just sit on, sit in on some cases and just keep your ear to how the prosecutors, the bailiff, the clerk, the conversations they may have going on with the judge and in the background. You'll be surprised. And again, as I stated before, read the book Crook County. Read the book Crook County. So it's like the decorum in a courtroom is highly disrespected in terms of the cases that are presented before the court. And especially when they're in urban areas, urban or areas um, that has a high poverty high poverty area it's 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 really interesting and the treatment of those in that area through the judicial system is quite alarming it really is it's alarming and again read the book crick county this is not a promo but this is just something informational i believe that would be beneficial to us all i haven't read the entire book but it's really i would say thought provoking and in my opinion emotional it angers me. It angers me. So let me go ahead and continue. Yeah. He said this in the private chambers of his office hmm. in front of a black woman 
named Tanya Mitchell Graham, who's my attorney, and for the other black women that work for Tanya. Boom, I'm glad Ty Tyree's attorney was transparent with him, because why would a legal counsel have motive to lie about what a judge said in his private chambers? Things happen, you have no idea what things, what is said in private chambers, and sometimes it's like an unspoken thing that you don't supposed to go back and say anything, but salute to Tyree's attorney for communicating this to him and putting, exposing the judge for, you know, Tyrese has no reason to lie about what his attorney said about the judge. So I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised. So if Tyrese's attorney heard this, the judge is totally out of line, totally out of line. Unprofessional, unethical, and that means his emotions has gotten into play and that's not how the justice system works in terms of um, prosecution, in terms of um, navigating cases and in terms of a judge uh, presiding over cases that's not how it's supposed to work that's all that's all you lead with the, the judges attorneys supposed to lead with the letter of the law period they do Mitchell Graham's law firm and he was referring to my ex-wife now listen we ain't together no more we have our share of issues, mm -hmm. but I have never referred to the mother of my child as a bitch. Mm. I have never referred to the mother of my child or my ex-wife as a bitch. Mm. To hear this man, this white man, hmm. on the bench, wearing a black robe, hmm. mm -hmm. who is supposed to represent the law, yep, to refer to my ex-wife and the mother of my child as a mm. bitch, why is he still on the stand i'm gonna stop it right there hi everyone welcome to my channel thank you for your support thank you for supporting the mix thank you thank you thank you like share subscribe to my channel like share subscribe i'm going to jump right into it and i need for you all to listen to this video from beginning to end as you heard via the audio tyrese's issues with the judge with the entire case and um with of course his ex-wife as you can see, Judge Kevin Framer, M. Framer, to be exact, he is pr the presiding judge over Tyrese's case in Georgia. And Tyrese has some issues with the judge, and in my opinion, rightfully so. Rightfully so, sometimes in a variety of court cases, whether it be civil or criminal, and in Tyrese's case, it is civil. Um, domestic relations, family court is civil, it's a civil thing. So yeah, Tyrese has an issue with um, Judge Framer, and I just want to go ahead and share a screen with you all as to how kind of like all this began and also I did a little bit digging on Judge Framer who actually was an attorney at one point and he actually worked as a I think a deputy district attorney in Georgia so uh, and oftentimes and as I stated in previous videos these judges they once were attorneys they they once were prosecutors so hmm, that says it all this says a lot let me go ahead and share my screen okay this is judge kevin m framer um 2018 present superior court of fulton county so he is a judge in fulton county as of today this position to my understanding is elected if you find out anything different then let me know but based off of my research and everything it is an elected position his professional experience associations, he was senior assistant DA district attorney in Clayson County Judicial Circuit Court. And that was 2015 through 2018. So he was a district attorney before he was elected as a judge in Fulton County. Um, he also served as senior attorney, Metro Conflict Defender Office, and that was the public defender. So he was a public defender and Fulton County Public Defender's Office. He was a public defender for quite some time. He is a member of the Atlanta Bar Association, Association <laughs> and member of the Fulton County uh, Fulton Bar Association. So I wanted to see a member of the American Bar Association, but that's that. That's kind of like the spiel of his background in terms of career-wise. Okay, this is more um, Kevin Framer. More information he kevin framer is a judge of the georgia fifth superior court district atlanta 
circuit. He assumed office in 2018. His current term ends on, on December 31st, 2026. And this is just more from ballotpedia.org and pretty much his career, his history, etc., etc. Again, it's very critical and important for those to do their due diligence on the type of judges that may be presiding over their cases or are assigned to their cases. So just kind of do your research that way you can get ahead of the game and probably ask for a change in terms of judge wise. Okay, let me share another screen. Okay, I came across a Yelp review on <laughs> Judge Kevin M. Framer and Silvano T. This was about four months ago not sure who this is but all i can say this is the review on uh, all i can say is that judge kevin m framer is not fit to be a judge he doesn't pay pay equal attention and consideration towards both sides it's as if he goes deaf to very obvious explanations that clarify certain circumstances questioned by him hmm. So this was about four months ago. Is this Tyrese? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Is this Ty who is this? Is this Tyrese? Someone affiliated with his camp. <laughs> okay, that's all I found. Sort of Judge Kevin M. Framer. That's all I found. And if you found anything else out, go ahead and share that. But I went on the robing room and I couldn't find anything about Judge Kevin M. Framer. So, but what are your thoughts? Like, share, subscribe to the mix. Do you believe that Tyrese is correct? In my opinion, he, he is correct. He is. Obviously, he is. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Do you believe he is correct about this judge? Do you believe the judge should be removed from the domestic relations family court case of Tyrese? I believe he should. But the legal system is very... It's not often that a judge is removed. It's, it's like a small percentage in cases, even when it comes to criminal, where judges are removed. So it's not a high percentage that that happens. But hey, this is the legal system. This is the justice system in the United States of America. So you just never know. But let me know. Uh, like, share, subscribe to the mix. Like, share, subscribe. Again, this is just sort of somewhat a breakdown on a judge and just my overall review viewer opinion about Tyrese citing that the judge is racist or citing that the judge is unfair. So let me know your thoughts, drop a comment, like, share, subscribe to the mix, especially those who are digitally passing by and who have yet to subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe, smash that subscription button. That way you will be in tune with all the content you drop on my channel. Talk to you all soon. Bye.